After three years exploring the waterways of North America, we've traded our trawler for a trailer. We're still just passing through. It's September 2nd. When we left off last time, we were spending the night in a roadside pull-off, south of Watson Lake, B.C. Today, we continue southward on the stewart Castiar Highway. This would be about a 200-mile day for us, at about 50 miles an hour tops. The weather was always changing between heavy clouds, then sun, then rain showers, then sun again. Temperature was around 50 degrees. Around midday, we made a quick stop at Jade City. I understand a TV series was filmed here a while back, but frankly I'd never heard of it. It was quite a nice store with a lot of high quality jade items. They mined the jade from a nearby quarry and export most of it. Back on the road, we traveled to a provincial park at Kanaskan Lake, where we got settled in and had some dinner. After four nights of dry camping, we're headed to an RV park today, Bear River RV Park in Stewart, BC. Shortly after starting out, we saw a black bear crossing the road. Of course, by the time I turned my cameras on, he was disappearing into the trees. Just my luck. Other people get bears that pose for video and photos. All I get is an occasional blurry image of a bear's butt vanishing into the woods.
At about 3 p.m., we rolled into Bear River RV Park. It was more busy than we expected, but they found a spot for us. After getting settled, we took a ride into the village and had some dinner at a cafe. Wednesday, September 4th, and we've left the trailer behind for a day trip back into Alaska to visit the town of Hyder. The U.S. border and the town of Hyder is really just a couple minutes from the RV park in Stewart, B.C. We took a drive out to the pier and explored what there was of the self-proclaimed friendliest ghost town in Alaska. From there, we headed north to see the Salmon Glacier. On our way back to town, we stopped at the Fish Creek Wildlife Viewing Area and finally saw a bear for more than half a second.
celebrate our bear sighting, we stopped at the Old Glacier Inn for a beer, then back across the border to Stewart for dinner at a Mexican restaurant, El Tostador. Does this look like a restaurant? It's a toaster museum. Yep, all sorts and types and vintages of bread toasters. There's no sign to indicate it, but there is also a highly rated Mexican restaurant in here called El Tostador. We had dinner there last night and immediately made a reservation for tonight. Busy morning as we have to dump holding tanks, fill water tank, and wash the trailer before we take off. I wanted to do all this stuff yesterday, but it rained all day. Way north from Stewart, we stopped to have a look at the Bear Glacier. Further down the road, we stopped at a First Nations historic site.
stopped for the day at a municipal campground in Smithers, British Columbia, and had some dinner, and then took a walk along the Bulkley River. One big change in the last couple days, the temperature. When we stopped for the night yesterday, it was 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Today it's also supposed to be in the 70s. Another unwelcome change has been smoke. Apparently there's a wildfire south of here, and we can see and smell smoke. Pretty heavy at times. We stopped for the night at Blue Cedars RV Park in Prince George, BC. Smoke persisted the next day as we continued southward. The temperatures have stayed pretty nice too, 50s at night and 60s and 70s during the day. You can see the smoke we've been dealing with for the past, uh, the past few days. We stopped for the day at Lucerne Campground. The campsite was quite nice, and the warmer weather allows us to sit outside and grill burgers over a fire. Not bad. We passed through the Jasper area on our way to Alaska back in July. 
Not long after that, a major wildfire swept through the area and did a huge amount of damage, including one fatality. Today we'd be passing through the burned area. Because of all the widespread damage, all campgrounds in the area were closed, and we could only drive straight through Jasper National Park without stopping. It was cloudy and smoky with on and off rain showers, so I didn't shoot much video. We intended to stay in the Banff area at the same campground we used when we passed through in July. However, we found that almost all the campgrounds in the Banff area had been closed for the season. We ended up driving an additional 40 miles south to McLeod Provincial Park that was still open. At 10 a.m. this morning, we got a visit from a park ranger informing us that the park would be shut down for the season in one hour. We were about ready to leave anyway, so we headed out. It was rainy early, but cleared up to be a nice day as we headed south to Cranbrook, BC and a KOA Resort RV park near a First Nations casino. It was a welcome short day. After getting set up, we took showers and had dinner at one of the casino restaurants. After dinner, we took a walk along the St. Mary's River. This would be our last stop in Canada. Tomorrow, we cross the border back into the U.S. in a few days in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. See you next time.